All right, so in this video, what I'm going to do is just go over a, f a few ways to search using Laredo. This is the same software that's going to be at the public computer terminals at the Champaign County Recorder's office. So what I'll do is I'll go over how to check the uh, Liz Pendens records as well as checking um, maybe for liens, also checking for... Uh, just to chain the general chain of title and whatnot. So the first thing I'll do is uh, let's go over the uh, list pendant scenario. So if you wanted to, for instance, check to see, uh, first of all, list pendants is going to be what the mortgage company would file against the individual they um, lended to. Basically, if whomever is I believe 60 to 90 days late then they'll have a list pendants status uh, or list pendants filed against them and that's available to view in the public records so if you wanted to check for the last four weeks today is the 27th and so we'll go back two weeks search by group you can, as you see, there's quite a few selections here. I haven't even explored a lot of these, but um, we'll go with uh, Liz Pendens for right now. And you would click on Find, or wait, Search. I think Find. <clears throat> what I always like to do is uh, I like to sort by recorded I don't know what it's sorted by by default actually it's probably sorted by doc number by default I haven't really noticed um, so anyway here we see the the most recent Liz Pendens, which was yesterday, was filed by, it looks like, between GMAC Mortgage and Angel Wrath. Um, it's also another one between GMAC Mortgage Discover Bank and that's a lot of people. Like this one looks interesting. Let's look at this one. So, you would uh, expand by clicking on the plus sign. I go to the image tab and then click on page one. Looks like the whole family is on the title at least. Uh, okay, so this is, I don't know, even know where this town is. Flusland, Illinois. I guess it's in Champaign County technically, but anyway, I, I could care less about Fooslin. Let's look at something else. <clears throat> Fooslin. That's funny. Alright, so let's check out. Uh, let's see. Actually, this has a lot of people on it too. Uh oh, no, no, I think I know that person. Let's go to something else. Oops. Oops. Disregard that. So then we got, um, let's go here, PNC Bank. This one looks pretty straightforward. So between PNC Bank and Michael and 908 South Walnut Street in Muhammad. So anyway, it's pretty plain and uh, simple. 
It's kind of self-explanatory a little bit. And, um, yeah, so anyway, that's how you check the Liz Pendens records. Um, we can move on to something else. Let's say, for instance, if you wanted to check the the liens against the property, um, this is always good to do. Um, I, I guess I found that out the hard way. I guess before you even um, really get your hopes up about a particular house, it's, it'd be good to, even if you have like a verbal agreement, for instance, go and do just a general lean search. And if you just know the address, of course, you can just type it in the address section here. Go find. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> so, with this one, that's me, by the way. With this one, the, uh, the property owner, well, they, you had Marie and James were originally on the title, and the property hasn't passed through to the the heirs yet, and so I guess uh, I don't know what the technical term would be, pre-probate maybe. Um, anyway, the the heirs wanted to sell the property, and they weren't aware of any of the liens that were on this property, so. I can just uh, search a few of them here. I'm pretty sure I could recognize them. I know one, actually, here's one at the top here, junk and debris. And I was actually inspecting this property when the city came and uh, removed some of the junk from the porch in the side of the house. So basically what happened with this one, just a long story short, it says, uh, these fees for the abatement of disposed trash, tires, and the couch. The couch, there was this old couch sitting on the porch. There was like a sp old spare tires on the side of the house. This house had been vacant for, I guess, a year and a half or whatnot. And the city just came and, you know, two guys came, took the couch away and the tires and charged them a nice little chunk of change for it. And anyway, put the lien against the house. And, uh, looks like for 300 bucks. So that's one. That's a little small one. But one of the main ones was uh, this lien here. Actually, this is uh, this is a new one. Um, Ten thousand dollars for. I know this is for the nursing home. So this is a lien against the house for a nursing home bill attributed to Marie. This is a new one. But anyway, that that, that even adds uh, insult to injury. Haven't seen that one. But uh, I think this is the one that I knew of. Okay, yeah, this was a mortgage placed against the property by the city of Champaign. Basically, they have a, a five-year forgivable mortgage for people that qualify to have certain things done. Um, and this one was, this mortgage hadn't expired, or the five-year period hadn't expired yet, so that was a big deal. And then there's another one, the main one being a, a nursing home bill. I think it's this one here. It doesn't state the amount, but it's a nursing home bill in the amount of like sixty-five thousand dollars. The property is only worth like ten or twelve as is. So these these all added up were were uh, deal killers. And uh, so anyway, that's that's how you kind of just you take a property, 